Mic check, mic check, one, two, one, two. Welcome back, viewers. Today, we will be testing the Bollinger Band Width Indicator. But before we do, if you have not watched my first video and the videos after that, you need to go do that right now. Here at the Academy of Forex, we are building the best trading system possible as a team. And as a team, we will all profit from it when we are done. You can find a link to the first video down in the description below. You can also find a link to our Discord server, so that way we can all discuss testing indicators and building our trading system. And lastly, you can find a link below to TradingView. If you sign up for a paid account, you will save a little bit of money using the link below. All right, before we get into testing today's indicator, I wanted to put up the indicator scoreboard. So... To date, we have tested actually 26 indicators, and out of those 26, eight of them have been winners, which means that they have met or exceeded the 60% win rate threshold that we are looking for. So, as we are working on building the best trading system possible, you could take any one of these eight indicators that are winners, and you could use them to start profitably trading right now. So go back and watch those videos, make a list of the eight indicators and get out there and see what you can do with them. But stick with us here as we work to maximize your profits as we build our trading system. So let's get into testing today's indicator. As usual, we are on a random pair and we are testing a random year, 2018. We have our take profit and stop loss designated by the ATR, and we have the indicator in question down here at the bottom. So the uh, bullet band width indicator is a single line indicator like this. This is how it looks, and like with most single line indicators, we need to modify the indicator slightly so that way we have uh, the ability to trade it. So what I have done is I have added the standard moving average to the indicator. I'm going to change this to a five period moving average. And so the red line is the Bollinger Band width line and the blue line is the moving average. So, as most two-line cross indicators, when the uh, faster of the two lines cross the slower of the two lines, that is a signal to go long or short. So, in this instance, when the red line would cross below the blue line, that is a sell signal. When the red line crosses up above the blue line, that is a buy signal. And that's how we will be testing it today. So, with that being said, let's get on with the testing process here. And right off, looks like, actually, no, let's, uh, let's wait till we're actually in the year here. Uh, let's, let's enhance that a little bit there. All right, there we go. That is officially the first signal there. That is a short signal. As you can see, that thing shot right up out of there and gave us a loss. Let's double check just to be sure. Yep, definitely a loss. All right, let's move on with the testing. So let's see. Not sure if it quite made it right there does look like it crossed for just a moment it turned around and crossed right back below which would have given us a stop out there and there before it 
took off here and gave us a win. So already we can see that this one is very likely going to be a over trader. But let's see what the cards have in store for it. All right, like I said, it does seem to be giving us a lot of signals already. Um, you know, so far at this point, we've tested a few different Bollinger Band indicators, and each of them have turned out to be winners. Um, does appear that this one is picking up quite a few wins, so hopefully, I mean, having an over trader isn't bad just like having an under trader isn't bad, as long as the signals that it's giving are accurate. If it's throwing lots and lots of signals and they are inaccurate signals, then we're just compounding our losses for no real reason. But if it is giving good signals, then we are compounding our winners. And that can be a good thing. What's weird is that it goes good for a minute, does pretty good, catches some reasonable signals, then all of a sudden just starts going completely against what price action is doing, and again is giving us a whole bunch of signals. But um, we haven't tallied them up yet. We we'll kind of see what it's doing. Once we get to the end here. What you'll often see is that a lot of these indicators were coded just simply because they could be coded, not necessarily because uh, the person who was coding it was actually trying to create an indicator to be profitable. Uh, you have a lot of these indicator coders who just like the math behind uh, the code and they like to build indicators. Um, so there are some indicators that are just completely useless and have really no logical purpose in trading. We're almost to the end of the year of testing now. It's kind of went flat on us and it's just um, not bouncing around, giving us some really bad signals here. Actually, gonna measure this one here. That is a win. Let's see this one here. Looks like it kind of did the same thing. Another win, but barely. But that's okay. Barely counts. Nice little cluster of wins there. And a loss. I believe, yep, that puts us at the end of the year. Okay, so lots of trades here. Let's add them up and see what we get out of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, thirty five. Gives us thirty five trades.
So we need at least 21 wins to meet the 60%. Let's see what we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So no, we did not get to the 20%. And like I said, um, it definitely was an over trader, and like most over traders, it just does not get us where we need to be. This seems to be the theme for the over trading indicators is that they over trade and over trade and over trade, and they eat up any of the wins that we got with the losses that it creates by over trading. So it would be nice if we could get this many, uh, this number of trade signals in one year and achieve an 80, 85% win rate um, out of those. Uh, that would be, you know, phenomenal. We would be in lots of trades, more trades than we would need, and we would be in lots of profit. But um, unfortunately, that is very rare. And if one indicator had the ability to do that, then, um, you know, everybody would be trading and making money from it. So it's kind of a trade-off one way or the other. So unfortunately, this one is a no and is going on the no list. If you have not already, like this video, comment below, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell notification so that way you are notified anytime I post a new video. As part of the team, it's important that you are seeing the new videos as they come out so you know what it is that we are discussing and what indicators we are testing, have tested, and have not tested. Also, like usual, there is a link below in the description to the Discord server. You can join us on Discord so that way we can further discuss the indicators and have discussions as we move forward building our trading system. And lastly, like usual, there is a link below to TradingView. If you like what you see whenever I use TradingView and you are interested in signing up for TradingView, if you use the link below and sign up for a paid account, you will save a little bit of money. So, all right, everybody, I will see you on the next video.